Oh, that'd be kind of. Hmm. There's a, shi a lot of shiny rocks around. Oh. Can we can we try and look at it from kind of this angle? Yeah. Like that boulder, just to confirm, but I think it's probably buried. It seems to be. Packages in the water. And I don't know what's on your right here, so just I don't know Roger. how tall that is or what that is. Is that an Alvin right? Looks looks hydrothermally. That might be North Tower. <laughs> I'm gonna move that craft out of your way. It's not here. Yeah, we can turn the down lights off too, I think. Okay, next, it uh, doesn't seem like we're going to find it, but no. if we can follow those cables just a little further up, I think there's another cable as well that we haven't crossed yet. Okay. Just want to confirm. This looks like the landslide. Yeah, eh? this is it. Somewhere here, there's a fourth cable. You got a beacon on that package yet, Ernie? Um, they, there is one. Uh, I'm having them let me know when they're when they got it uh, being lowered. I still have to set up the beacon because it was just oh, given to me. So Roger. it'll take a second. The beacon. I see the beacon going overboard now. Yeah. Roger. Still Just only three. That out. Why don't we give us uh, 500 meter updates or something on the way down? At some point, we'll have to. I think we uh, we'll have to stand off to the south <coughs> because it'll be on the north. Yeah, we yeah. we have a target picked out for where we yeah. want to land it. So. Well, yeah, where we want to land it, and then we'll stand off to the south. So that way, the two wires don't cross. I think that ought to. I think that ought to be good. As long as you guys are okay with it. Yeah, we are to the south now. I only see three. Yeah, sure. Looks like there's only three. So and, uh, I don't think there's the fourth if we haven't seen it. Yeah. Or it's just our layout diagram is not accurate. Look at that. That's kind of cool. No vents on that thing, though, huh? Doesn't look like it. Dan, I think that kind of concludes our stuff here. So. Depends where you want to be if you prefer to go back to the basket and wait. I'm uh, happy to keep poking around here. Okay, well, let's get some. Um, can we get circle as any events we can circle, Fabio, that would, or animals we can look at or something like this? We don't we have probably, I don't know how much time we have. But we have like an can hour back, before it. Can we go back to Dante? Or what do you want to see at Dante? That might not well, be a good spot. Is Dante a good spot? North Tower a good spot? What's kind yeah. of like a happy spot? Any place is all right. Where, you well, know, we should go to a place we haven't been, right? The that we can, of course. We can oh, look reach. at this little guy. Well, once yeah. we get the beacon in the water and it, as it lowers, we will have to obviously pay attention to where the 6-8 yeah. yeah. is in relation to that. Yeah. Look at this. This is awesome. Way at the bottom of the fault or of the landslide. I think we're all right, Rennie, as long as we can watch the beacon on the way down. That should be well to the north of us, 30 meters north. That's a cool 30 meters north. What do you mean, sorry? So, man. Yeah, it's we'll watch cool. it as it, yeah. when it gets in the water. It's I'm trying to get some stills here for Steve. He's probably going to find this interesting. Um, is it on its way down? Uh, 
Yeah, that's really tight cool. Off. Steve, there's your new tower. It's going to start from right there. <laughs> you get the uh, magnum out of the stills there. So there was a known landslide in the area? Yeah, this is what that we're on right now is all was all a landslide. Do this we know when it happened? Right when our um, site was down for those oh. for that year, somewhere in there. Oh. 2021. To 20, okay. Ripped all those oh, cables keep apart. Stealing porch. <laughs> Why does it? Uh, you can put the down lights on if you want. All right. Yeah, they might help me too. How about that? It's having a hard time focusing on their stills. Guess who are the pioneers? The red worms. Am I too close for the stills cam? I can't really see. The yeah, stills cams are here, Jake. Oh, okay. Yeah, get back yeah, up. Yeah, can't really focus on it. There we go. Yeah, That's the better. shimmering water makes autofocus very difficult. I'm going to tilt you up a bit. There's a little zorset. Looks like there's a flow underneath that ledge coming up, too, from down on the right. This is a yeah. little Steve Tower. <laughs> Call it little Steve. Little Steve, yeah. Give him some time. It needs like a wild mane of tube worms hanging off the oh, back of look it. At, look at that violent shape at the top. <laughs> you seen that flow from down below on the right? On the right. There's uh, a little fish too, here. Fabio. What fish is that? That's a Zor said. Right down in here. Pachycara. It's uh, a cool thing to look at. I think there's a shelf here that's probably a little got thing. A little yeah, I see thing. it. Oh, yeah, a little shimmer coming yep. off the. Yeah. Coming right up. Can we zoom in on that little fish? That's Top just left. This guy. Like an eel pound or whatever oh, yeah. that is. Fabio's uh, snails. Saying it's interesting. It's a cool looking fish. Do a little vacuuming. Oh, zoom slurp sample. Zoom there. Can't tell who's talking. You got another little slurp, this guy? <laughs> <laughs> we, already, do, yeah. we already know who, who, who they are. So. There's, a, there's two of them. Yeah. There are two. Three of them. Three, yeah. Three, where's the third one? Oh, They're very oh calm. okay, he's oh. making it. Oh. oh, there it goes. You kind of blew, <laughs> you blew him into Steve. Oh, my God. Uh, I don't think we're pout. in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? Uh, he's swimming back Did down, is he? put a he? thruster into the wall? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this little smoker's got something. Got some character. Look at him. See if you can peek underneath there, Dick. Underneath here? Yeah. Oh, it's coming underneath there. Oh, we did. Uh, you might just be able to see... Uh, you zoom in there, you can see the... Uh, yes. Zoom in it. But zoom in. it is not over yet. I'm not tracking it. You can see the... Uh, oh, this shimmer. You can see the vent fluid coming out from underneath. We, we will be watching around. it in the ROV. So is that a little flange pool? Yeah. Those are reactive yep. worms on the right side. I don't oh, that's think it's a cool. flange pool. I think it's just yep. a... a nice poly fluid coming out there. Like a little scale, scale worm. Yeah, that is really cool. When you think about that scale worm, like the environment completely changes four or five body widths in, or body lengths in either direction. Yeah. Are you going to be able to put that beacon in uh, Rob now? Or oh, yep. I just, uh, sorry, I was doing like too many things at once earlier. Uh, yes, I just did that. So it Roger. will show up. And Roger. both nav. Let's a little tighter here, real quick. Yep. Roger, just thanks. a snap. A little 
Yes, sir. It's super and hard to focus through the wall. I haven't seen it show up yet. I am pinging, but they must just be starting to lower it. Yeah. Is that enough, take Fabio? An hour it huh? gets Is that enough of that? Well, Fabio, yeah. what's this thing? This That's a picnogonid. Picnogonid. Oh, picnogonid? Just yeah. So there's a couple of them in there. It's some small. Yeah. yeah. There is a lot. Yeah. yeah. Hey, there's hold a fish here again. for a They're like covered in some kind of. There's two fish there. Again. I need them. Pull them out again. Gaster pods. No. Farther away. All right, Bobby, are you going to do this tour? I'll be back. Which tour? Got it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> let's tour around more. <coughs> yeah, what do you want to yeah. look at? Um, let's uh, let's come up. Let's go somewhere we haven't gone. Come up somewhere, come Jake, so I can stow the knife. And somewhere if I drop it, you can. we can get it again. I'm tilting down with your camera, by the way. Yeah. back down somewhere. I don't know why. <coughs> Very dusty. Um, so that landing zone you were talking about? Um, it's basically at the tool basket. Roger. Okay, cool. I didn't see a target. That's why I was asking. But if it's basically down there, then we'll yeah. hone it in as we get, as it lowers. Yeah. We'll make a, yeah, once it gets down and, I don't know. What's our depth here? 2191. We'll see how fast they're going down. And then we'll, I think uh, it's probably about a 40 meter move away. So. Yeah, I don't I don't have the beacon in yet. Um, yeah. I think they're still lowering. And I'll, then I'll, I'll get a rate from, you, from them. Roger. That's an arthropod. Can you get it there if I drop it? Um, yeah. <laughs> or is it gone forever? No, we'll, we'll, we'll fine. Just in the landslide. Fine. I could just drop it or put it in the box. So. Perfect. Dan's over here like, oh, it's so hard to put it on the magnet. Well, this one has a monkey fist. You can dangle it if you try and slam it up against the magnet, it's challenging. <laughs> I just got lucky there, so. Make it look so easy. We're just about 20 hours into this dive now. Go push and pass our hardware. Oh, maybe I can't. Dan's still no, uh, it's moving pretty significant arm. push. It's What's that? Stay wide. Yeah, I'm moving the magnum. Sorry, I'm still on it. All right, Fabio, we're all yours. What's cool to look at around here? Well, did you guys go to Dante? Yeah, we are. We did. Oh, it was okay. something. It was cool. Yeah. Okay. Big new feature, tall feature. Still, still in range for that. We are still in range for that. Yeah. We're actually really close to it. Yeah. You let Dan try it, this pig again. I mean, the top of the towers no. are always more. We're done with the pig. Lively. Yeah, Dante's east. Yeah, I see it now. There's a Maybe new target back thing. There. Yeah. We only really look at you the can, top uh, of it. Look to your right. We haven't seen the backside of this guy yet. Lens. Uh, now oh, they. Uh, we went around it. You uh, have the okay. T boss in your hand, the steel? <laughs> no. No. Okay. Make sure we got some good shots of that. What do you wanna What do you wanna do, Fabio? Um, you guys heading to Dante? We oh, it's up to you. Let's go, man. This All is right. the less explored area. Da, da, Dante. Less cables. Coming up. Coming up. Horrible Argus pilot. Dante is 25 meters tall, so you're going to hit it right mid, mid Dante. Start at the bottom, poke around and work your way up. 
just got to poke around. What about uh, Bold's suggestion? What about Lobo? Can we, Lobo, we haven't checked in this. I'm, 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 I'm a blue cable that I've never been to Lobo. What's the, uh, what's the bearing? I'm a, so I'm a bit confused about which, because if I'm not mistaken, some of these targets are a bit wonky. So which one would you, which one's the Lobo? Lobo is right north from us. No, we can't. I don't think we want to go north. Okay. Yeah. Dante is like we east, can, nor, uh, northeast. We're at, we're at Dante. So okay, great. we want to, yeah, uh, right now we're, you know, a, a nice limited. easy. Nice easy, yeah. 40, I don't know. 10, 20, 30, 40 meters away from our target on a southwest heading, southwest from Atlanta. Let's stick around so here. So that's, uh, that, given the angle of the ship, the ship's current heading, um, the second wire in the water, a southwest move is yeah, yeah. is good because the package is light and that will swing it away from the 6.8. But anything else, while well, that wire is in the water, I don't think. Uh, yeah, and we can always pull. Would be a wise move. We can always pull Atalanta more southwest if we need to, uh, but not really the other way around if we're, like you said, if we're not. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Can we climb a little bit more? See what's yep. coming up. I saw that big uh, overhang, though. <laughs> yeah, there's some spectacular flange pulls here. We can try for flange pull shots. Ah. This was one of the stops on our tour to the tour to towers when we lost position a couple of years back. You can <laughs> peek under those if you want on the way, Jake. We, got, mm -hmm. we don't even have a beacon yet, unless it's off the nav screen. But uh, no, unless let's check what's going on under that roof. the left side. Under that roof, there is like yeah. some. Uh, Here, I'll, I'll do the tilt for you if you want. Okay. No. Bump. Oh, for a pen and tilt light. If you can get a toe in right there, that would be marvelous. Oh, there's just some spawning oh, yeah, going on. I could on. get up in there. Yeah, you can see the mirroring. Yeah. Oh, oh there's a lot of it. Wow, look at that. Yeah, nice reflection there. Let's see if you slide to your left and come up a little, you'll get, a, get it in the light. So you watch your uh about it. You can touch against it there if you want. Touch something. Zoom in there, Ed. Yeah, coming in. I don't know if you'll have virus. Go for Van. How are you guys? Are you comfortable yeah. with where we are? Yeah, we're, we're good. Yeah, we're good with where we are right now. Well. If I hadn't kicked up all that dust, I would have made yeah, a perfect give me, shot. Give me, you're That's you're right. good right there. Just hold what you got if you can. We'll let it clear and I'll play around with the lights. Uh, keep kicking up more. <laughs> Oops. That's a little too dark. <laughs> That's a little too dark. <laughs> I don't know. It had its merits. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's got the ripples. Yeah. So the shimmering is actually doing the... I Wash, think it's your hands or give it, is that light right there? I think that's Let's giving me the best. Hands off. Yeah. Right there, I can push stop. in more. Vehicle's not doing anything. Yeah, that's what you want. It's hard to get this stable looking at one. That's is that's know. in focus, believe it or not. Wow. Ooh. If you put some gentle, gentle lateral left in. Let me go full zoom. Oh, hold on. Let me give him some perspective. That's good, that's good there, Jake. Oh, you can see the top to right, too. Bumper off. See it going up there? Yeah, zoom in there. Going in. Yeah, that's great. Can you, is that full up? Mm, on the no, Zeus tilt? No, 
I'll see if I can get a clear oh, shot yeah. of it here. Wow. Oh, there we go. That's all we wanted. Money in there, except for the sonar. Uh, let me try this. The cam is in the way. Uh, I think that might be a sonar or something. It was a sonar. There, there's a pure shot. Ta-da. Cool. That. Should yeah, it looks actually, like Inception. Uh, <laughs> oh, can you go a little left? In? I think we're going to be occluded, but see if we can see where this... Oh, it's coming from down below. I see. Damn That's sonar. your stream right there. See it? Stupid place for a sonar. <laughs> can I come out a little and see where that's coming from? Sure. Looks some corals in there. It's right uh -huh. there. Uh, yeah, you're right. It's coming from below. Oh, that is beautiful. This is your source. Yeah, and then it's making that flange up top. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Those are the palm worms, right? Yeah. 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 Some tube worms as well. I'll look back up again. Can bring my black levels down a little. Oh. Oh. oh, wow. Sitting back up. Bring those back up. Nice shot. Should we look for more of those? On Where do you want to see, Fabio? I don't know, around here. Let's, around let's here. poke around more. Yep. <laughs> like a kid in a candy shop. You might be able to now, before we go, uh, yeah, get a tight shot. Yeah, look at that top right, corner. Yeah, the, where it's right, running where it's, off. Yep. Yeah, that's usually pretty cool. Right there. Can actually brighten that up a little. And yeah, we're... Stirring up um, a bit. Oh, but you get all the white stuff. We just got a comment from Kate here. We just we just don't want to touch the the structure. Copy. Beautiful. It's interesting. It looks like bare rock right there, but uh, as soon as it gets uh, vertical, it's got growth coming out. Roger that. Okay. I'll, uh, I'm full, full wide. Here, yeah, before you go, before you go, since you're right here close. I'm close, all right. <laughs> I'm just looking for. Uh, you want to turn? Are your down lights on? You turn off. down on. I'll give Fabio a shot. Or uh, These do not there look somewhere. vibrant. Are down lights on? They are. Yeah, we're just huh. so tight, but yeah. <laughs> I might be able to see I can expose for that. the community here. Don't hold yeah, diffuse bent to the left there. I'm not seeing any signs of life here. Really? Is that bacterial mat there too? Now there's flow we're on, flow on just, the left. Just to make sure here, we're not touching this structure, right? No, uh, we're okay, not. Okay, good. Nope. Good. We're, uh, oh, see good, the, Kate, see the shot here, Fabio? Yeah. He's On got set three, porch. you can see that we've just got the porch uh, near the structure we're not touching. Can you uh, give me a little more tilt left? Oh. Uh, no, that's all I got left. All right. Well, let me get a little closer on this. I can a picnic retract in a little. There. Roger that. I uh, just picked up the first ping. The first ping. Let me get a better symbol than, than that. Give me a second. Seen enough, Fabio? You want to move on? Or you want to watch the wavy white stuff? Or? Well, we are on standby. What's that? We're on standby for the operation, right? No, we can right. go keep looking around. It's yeah. going to take a while to get down. We'll find. We'll have some math on it here and a couple more pings. Full, full wide. Right there. Okay, Jake, tilt them back down Ooh, again. Oh, fish. Oh, yeah. Rat tail. Oh, no. That's a whole fish. <laughs> the I thought I was just seeing I thought it was very close to us. and I was Knife blade is sticking out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
stay away. Oh, oh stay away. Good stowage. <laughs> you are racked out, tilted down somewhere. We were doing this in an Izena cauldron and trying to get a shot under there, and we had an R2 Sonics uh, multi beam on there. I was trying to get that shot, and it was up on the right corner and stuffed the multi beam right into the edge. And just <laughs> it didn't ruin it, but it put this beautiful scorch mark on the side of the <laughs> anodized housing. It was a rental unit. <laughs> To this day, Tony Wass calls me time. Uh, he's got some nickname for it. That was also an operational dive, but we had the Japanese Admiral in there. And they were pushing to continue the survey, and Admiral sent his helper next door, and there was a conversation in Japanese, and then he came back, and they said, you have one half hour. There's a lot of flange pulls on this structure, isn't there? Yeah. That venting structure looks like it's like underneath it there, there's like a big gap it is so uh, there's another flange pool under there and you can yeah. see the the vent fluid coming oh, around the oh edge yeah where oh. the weight oh, is oh, quick left these are nice steel shots from here Looks like it came from back in there. 30 meters north. Look, it's drifting to the north. So also, Rennie, the current is uh, to the north tonight, so it's favorable. Yeah, when we move into position, I'll just want us to drag to be ahead of Atalanta so we can drag it a bit um, to the southwest because I'm. Yeah, it's so been slow to move. And yeah. I get what you're saying about it's light, so the package will go, but it'll also come back. Yeah. Soon, so we'll just kind of like get ahead of it when what? we're that deep. But what we can stay here for quite a bit, I think. There's stuff falling from what the What we did before um, with Hercules to the south, well, Atlanta heading north, we were ex a actually able to pick up the wire and the package yeah. in Atlanta's camera and sonar. So we saw the wire and the, and the package come down. We, yeah, right. we were able to see 20 meters away, obviously, and in the Atlanta, so we picked it up in Atlanta. And Did you have to move a lot after that, or no? Uh, we had to move quite a bit to land yeah. the tool basket, yeah, just to hit our target. So we had picked out a, once we acquired it in Atlanta, then we um, we came underneath with Herc and kind of spotted the landing spot. Yeah, Raj. And, oh. um, and the current sucking you in there, Dick. Yeah, I was there for um, when we landed. What was the, a couple of them, but not the toolbox? Can we? Or was it the toolbox? Go ahead, Fabio. Uh, no, just making sure that we are a good distance there. We want to stand off further. Yeah, you want to come around and get downwind or get sidewind. The, all the hot water going up wants to, and you got the current behind you, I think, there a little bit. Maybe, I don't know. Did they we ever look for gas bubbles in this um, area? Any kind of bubbles? I, if we ever looked at. We yeah. saw hydraulic oil bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that but that cool was Anthropocene. One. Yes, it was cool, <laughs> but it was Anthropocene. <laughs> yeah. I'm not anthropocene. sure. That's probably a question for Steve. Okay. Uh, methane hydrate bubbles. Yeah, for oh, example, if it forms under these conditions. Oh, wow. yeah. In the plumes. I don't I don't think it would at the spreading 
It's too hot, center. right? Yeah, I would look for for vent chemistry and those niskins, but no, no methane bubbling here. Push past the housing. I was uh, recalling, I think, this morning or last night, I was Ocean Networks Canada was out on a different mission and took the vessel's quite large CTD rosette, and we walked it right down into a seep in a two-wire operation, guiding it with the ROV. Had it like a meter and a half off the bottom in an active seep and triggered Niskins remotely. And they were big, like 24 liters maybe, but they weren't gas tights. I don't think we've taken any Niskis. This is a complex top. This would be a very hard vent to model. I want to do... Uh, Hear that, grad students? Here's a project for you. I want to do some LiDAR imagery of one and then 3D print it. Yeah. Uh, there was a joint American-Canadian effort years ago to uh, cut off part of... <laughs> uh, was that Mothra or is it... Faulty towers. There's a good, there's a good, really good video. Yeah, they, Nat Geo made a show about it, and it's in the. Uh, I'm gonna get this wrong. American Museum of Natural History in Washington D.C. Yeah, there's a good video. They all look so long, young Fisher and uh, Shepard Delaney. So if you want to ever see one of these up close and personal, that's about the only way to do it. I know. Let's lasso the thing, put a chainsaw on the ROV, cut it off. It's <laughs> basically what they did. They braced it first, though. Yeah. There's a flat one at Faulty Tower. Is that, is that the and one you're talking about? Yeah, right? I think that's it. Steve, just answer you. Gas phase, as we know it, does not exix, exist under this pressure. Mm. So it don't. Yeah, that's always the argument. He's talking about the phase separation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've heard the scientists chatter about it, that it does or does not exist. It's not possible under under this uh, pressure. Are we too deep for gas tanks? Is that what you're saying? No, we're talking about, so you'll hear the scientists mention the word phase separation. Or you'll hear someone in the room mention that, and then there there will be a, a scientific discussion on why that's not possible at this depth. But it looks like like when you're looking at the flame on your gas burner, right? You know, it's right. Like blue. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if it's the ROV's I've lights. I've seen that before. There's a nice standoff distance, Jake. Yep. Yeah, it's probably the lights from the ROV, kind of like the Tina fours when their yeah. LEDs are on. Yeah. I always, it looks really cool, that's all I know. There's a giant plume behind this structure. There's probably one at the top of this structure too, eh? It looks like, This is yeah. the one we were looking at earlier. There's another one, uh, I don't know what that sonar target behind you is. No, there's all, the, all along the sides. You guys imaged that tower before? That would be on the Bathy map. Uh, it's kind of hard to see from over there, but we have a second structure. We're just offset from it. So yeah, just to our right. I yeah, can see a hint a of it in the sonar there. A known tower right there. Yeah. Watch out for that tower. <laughs> Bernie, do you know if the Roman lab has technology that could come out and just collect a 3D map of vents like this? There's many different ways. Tom uh, from ONC has done it from photogrammetry. Right, right. Um, but like that one we were just looking at, there's no way you could fly in the center of it. That would all be a void. Well, 
Jake would be the one to ask about that, but not the downward facing oh, yeah. laser so. and stereo camera. That yeah, would no, well you'd have to do instance. something that like Jonathan is doing with like you'd have to forward for, like yeah. uh, 360. But we could do it with. Um, there, it's possible to do it with the Norbit outward facing, but yeah, you'd, you'd have a lot of, uh, you might have some sound speed issues. You're going uh, to pick up a lot of those. Uh, the shimmering water. Yeah. To, to, a, to do some post-processing cleanup of point clouds and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at the latest model of Ocean News. You'll see a LiDAR survey of uh, decommissioned rig. I don't I'm not sure why you couldn't do that here. Maybe too much stuff in the water. Well, and you also, like, we can just fly around the perimeter. You guys aren't going to do a strafing run right down the middle. That's oh, you're, you're talking about now to get some images. Um, and what was the publication? Uh, Ocean News. Yeah, I don't think that's one of the ones I get delivered at home. And I can forward you the article if you want. Cool. <laughs> Did you see what was at the top of that spire behind that one? Or I think it reaches all the way up to the boat. The <laughs> no, I didn't go to it. I didn't the, think I had the, the Raz is landing on it. I now. think you got it. That was the one. So that one we j you just turned away from was the one that was Dante, right? And so we have this yeah. one. You didn't. You, you weren't able to go up it. I'm just curious if there's if there's active venting at the top or not. You do, you, do you know Fabio off the top of your head if the the spire that's northeast of Dante, like just right next to it, that We're second one. Yeah. Looks like oh, it. Oh yeah, it's um, got some active activity, yeah. I'm you not have sure, a, actually. You have a depth readout on the screen there, Randy? For which? The For payout? The, yeah. Uh, it's on Sonardyne, so it is, they're at 275 meters. 275. And keep us updated every... Yeah so often 500 or something like that at some point we'll have to peel off i don't know yeah yeah right. what your timeline there you think is going to look like Okay. Oh, yeah. Some folks uh, watching are curious about the temperature, and I know we can't, we don't have um, instrumentation right this second to measure the temperature, but a uh, few days earlier in the expedition, we had a bars with us. We were right in the vent. What were you measuring? 300? And take the black levels down a bit, see if that helps. Yep. 300 degrees Celsius? Oh, it up. And the surrounding water was about two degrees Celsius, I believe. It seemed like if we could get a little bit above this in, in a safe area, it would be a great place to run that pump for a jab. Yeah. Kind of gives the impression that this is one of the this is one of the big culprits for the smokiness in the water. Yeah. Other vents don't yeah, seem aren't. to be precipitating out as as dark it, as this. Right, the production here is. Is there any connection between um, the age of the vent and and what it, what it precipitates out? I would imagine it's more just the, chemi the chemical structure of whatever, less about the age and more about the uh, the vent fluid itself, but mm -hmm. I'm not an expert by any means. Maybe we'll have someone chime in and give us the answer. <coughs> I'm sure ONC has done ex yeah, extensive sorry, work on growth rates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll wait for Steve to Steve or Kate to chime in on the chat. Yeah, really cool. Well, 
Does this one have a name? I don't know if it's part of the Dante complex or if it's named something different because it is kind of, there's kind of two right next to each other. I don't have a name on the map. That's Flangepole City on this one too, eh? Uh, I bet this one. Okay. I'm going to tilt your camera up a bit if you're all right with that. Sure. Wow. Get a glimpse of them as you go by, at least. Some folks are writing in about um, what they're seeing, and so we're at the Endeavor Hydrothermal Vent area and the textured stuff on the surface of the rock is likely tube worms and yeah. other living mm -hmm. um, organisms. Yeah, hydrothermal vent. Then so they come in is tube worms, nails, palm worms, mm -hmm. sulfide worms. Scale worms. Those, yeah, those picnogonids that we saw were pretty interesting yeah. that they were kind of covered in sea spiders. Yeah. Yeah, kind of covered in some some fluff. Yeah. <laughs> Probably some bacterial mats. Yeah. And then also and we are at, at, at the Dante structure, main structure here, close to our observatory grotto. Uh, tower where we have our sensors, most of our sensors here in this area. Watch your butt cam. It looks like a face, no, doesn't yeah, look like it does. <laughs> one of those uh, Easter Island. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, very Picasso. Yep. Got an eyebrow, mustache, nose. I'm Ten meters behind you, and you saw it. And the um, Kate. Kate asked you to repeat the question for oh. her. She was doing laundry. <laughs> okay, Kate. Um, and congratulations as well yes, on, on your Order of Canada. Um, Kate, we were wondering about um, why some venting structures are um, kind of clear down looking down. and other structures up are. Down? You're going up or going down? Keep going down. Yeah. The, yeah, keep going down. The dark smoking. You started at the top, right? Kind of look yeah. to it. Yeah, might as well keep going down. It's a bit <laughs> easier to go down because you can. Yeah, the question stay is close. why are some putting up more particulate into the water column than others? Is it just that a function of a flow rate or is it mineral left. content? Did a peak. Combination of the two? Yeah, flow rate and content. So mm -hmm. we kind of just looked at, yeah, it is a flange pool. Yeah, all those overhanging ones are. Yeah, they're yeah. hot. Uh, black smokers yeah. versus white smokers. Is that? Just yeah. Yep. Probably the chemistry and the. All right. So I'm going to read out an answer here from our one of our stu um, senior staff scientists, Steve Mahaley, and, it, and he says that it depends on how much it mixes with the new seawater on the way up from the depth. Uh. Okay, so the clear shimmering stuff has already been mixed with the downward traveling seawater and has precipitated out the black smoke below the seafloor. The uh. dark black smokers have never seen fresh seawater and more importantly, the oxygen it contains. Mm -hmm. Ah, thank you, Steve. That's a super good answer, thanks. Yeah. Come here, not out here with us, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> Did you and Fabio Rochambeau when you lost? What? <laughs> <laughs> like rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. And you lost. Or, or Steve lost. So. <laughs> yeah. So Maybe Steve got the Steve. An, uh, to answer? Is that what you're saying? No, just saying that they're saying, why isn't Steve on the boat with us? Uh, yeah, he, he lost on papers, rock, scissors. <laughs> <laughs> he comes out a lot. <laughs> And another skill testing question here, from this time from our, our listeners in science party land. Um, just 
people are wondering how the hydrothermal vents were discovered. Oh, I believe it man. was in the 1970s, right? 1977. 77. At Galapagos Rift. Yep. Oops, sorry. So how were they discovered? And or and then specifically, how was the Endeavour field discovered? Uh, that, I, I don't know what's the first discovery here. Uh, what year exactly? Okay. I'll have, maybe Kate will know, and Steve for sure. They are unsure. All right. We await their answers. But very likely around that same area, like late 70s, early 80s. Steve has come in, 1984. 84. 84. Pisces 4. So 1984 um, for the Endeavour field. What vehicles did they use? And yeah, Prices. the pilots wanted, Prices, Danny wants I to know. Pisces well, 4, Alvin, I believe. Alvin, Alvin discovered uh, the Galapagos fonts in 77. Here at Endeavour, not sure. I've heard stories of Keith Shepard and John Delaney out here zooming around in Pisces Forest. I don't know when that was before my time. Yeah. Well, the interesting thing is it really changed kind of how plate tectonics was understood and taught. And this, you know, the, uh, not a geologist, I won't go into it, but super interesting. Yeah, and also changed our understanding of um, food, food webs, right? And chemosynthetic environments, new thing. There's some long, might be an old tube worm down there on the left, just outside that cave. What's your uh, depth yeah. now, Randy? Depth for beacon. 508. Right. Uh, lighting up something in your sonar there on your left side. Yep. I can range that down if you want. Or Danny can. Do you want me to range it down? or? Yeah, I'm putting it on 25 meters. The right hand side? Yeah, the right hand side. So five meters divisions? Uh, yeah, please. Yeah, well, <coughs> give us better awareness of so what's there. Yeah, actually, Between it's two. Yep. <laughs> that tracks. You're right in there. Yep. Right in the crevasse. Yes. Ah, Trevor. He puts it on fast. So that's the way his brain works. But slow gives you a better picture. Who Arby was it? Maybe it was you, fast. Dan. Were you the one who used to change the color scheme all the time? Yeah, I'm yeah. over it. I actually I like this color scheme. It's the default. Some for a while we had that whole thing. Now we have the fast versus slow thing. Right, right. It's always something. Well, fast is great, but slow gives more of a picture in my mind. It doesn't work as fast as Trevor as I can. <laughs> You guys need the button like cars have for two different drivers. We yeah, 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 yeah. could do that. All the mirrors and seats adjust. We display the little change. It displays. Makes my head hurt to look at it going around that fast. Steve says he thinks Alvin also gets the medal. Alvin. Yeah. Alvin yeah. out here, yeah. Yeah. But he's going to double check with chat GPT. <laughs> 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 He's well, giving Alvin. away his secrets now. <laughs> yeah. Alvin's yeah. hole was laid in 1964. Ooh. Oh, oh hey, look at that. That's paraphila. What is he? Paraphila uh, jelly. It's kind of in a... Looks like a Japanese lantern. It looks like dead because the, it's not moving the tentacles. It's like a ballooning. Maybe it got burned. <laughs> oh yeah, he's kind of toasted in the back. <laughs> <at> the <bottom. laughs> like a marshmallow. Yes. 
Don't you? <laughs> yeah, I think it's, it's the burned jellyfish. Really? Look at yeah. Look at the bottom. It's, it's toasted. Aww. Maybe it's just napping. Hmm. Yeah, actually, do they rest? I wonder if they ever do rest. Hmm. They always, like, I think, um, hmm, I don't know. Old man's beard. Totally. Very frustrating to stuff into a bio box. Oh man, <laughs> it goes everywhere. Just get big handfuls of them. Yeah. <laughs> I've done that. Makes a big mess. Off of Hawaii. How did you catch uh, the altitude at the top of this guy? Well, we can look at a uh, Grafana. See. Oh yeah. How far we've come down? Good answer. Do Uh, 2170 there. Um. Not the same height as the other one, basically, 25 meters. Still got 10, 12 meters below you. Sensor seems to be intermittent. You're coming up now, are you? Yep. <clears throat> really? Yeah. Looks like the RAS is at 600. Yep, Roger. At some point like we'll that. have to, I have a feeling it might take a bit to, because it's so light, to actually get it, when we move the ship, to get it into the position we want it to go. So we'll have to depart at some point as on the way down. So we're yeah, there's a good flange pool. Yeah, that one's cooking. Okay. So let's go ahead, bridge. Let, let's wait. Let's wait, uh, Kate Moran's uh, answer. This is Ken Juniper's explanation. Endeavor vents were discovered in the early 1980s by researchers from the University of Washington investigating plate tectonics who were dredging for basalt rocks when they snagged something else. It was a big chunk of one of those mineral chimneys covered with worms that they recognized had come from a hydrothermal vent. Mm. So wow. this was our chief scientist, uh, former chief scientist, Kim Juniper. Hi, and Kim. <laughs> is watching us, I think, too. That's great. Also, Could coming I back to the question if the jellyfish we saw was resting, Mitch from bit, shore Jake. found an interesting information. Jellyfish mm -hmm. don't have brain, but they do sleep, so it might have, after all, been sleeping or resting. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, Mitch. So yeah. Yeah, I think they've got like a uh, no, a nerve net. Have it. The light. Yeah. It's the light. That's the Sorry. problem. So I'll tilt up a bit. I Thanks, Mitch. Although I do, I do think that one was toasted. <laughs> yeah, you can't get it without the vehicle in the view. It was brown looking at the bottom. That's your thruster wash. Just rippling it. You, it's this one here, right? Paraphilemia? Yeah. 
Paraphila. Paraphila. What's that? I said it's a pretty good looking oh, this is <laughs> That's cheating. <laughs> it's not cheating if it works. It is. <laughs> Paraphila. Look at this one. It's the exact same photo. Can you zoom there? Which version do you have? That's the nice. That's version one. We updated. Oh, that is so beautiful. that's oh. this one is probably correct. This Kay. is second edition. You're looking at the first edition. Where do I get the second edition? On our alfresco. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think it, it, there's a. Uh, they're available for. Right. Come wide. Breaking stuff off. Uh, yeah, be careful there. Yep. I think you got a new technique going on there. What line is that while you're looking up there? Uh, down? Is that down? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Need a uh, flan flange light. We could turn one up, right? Well, we thought about it, and then we thought it's an engineering cruise. We won't be doing this. <coughs> Need a pan and tilt light. Coming up five. Right. Here. Yeah, our Panatel lights hooked up to the McLean pump. So. No, I was thinking like a <coughs> standalone spotlight. Okay, so that's the. Yep. That's lowering down. Yep. And then Probably, uh, I'd say when we're at a thousand, we should start to move just okay. by the we'll rate of. Uh, we'll start. With by the time we. Move yeah, down. It'll be it'll be swift to move, or we'll we can be as quick as we want down is, there. If is we the plan to acquire it in the water column, or or like as it gets to this near the near the bottom? We should have it near where it, we near where we want it to land, uh, as it approaches the bottom, and then okay. and then what Dan said with like acquiring it and lo and w visually seeing it. Okay. But I don't. I want to be there. Yeah. In the in the. Otherwise, it's just like we're, we will waste time by by drag and not you know having to drag it too late. So we'll come up a bit, Jake, and then we'll have you go to the south, and we'll look north with Atlanta, or we'll have you line up so we can pick it up in Atlanta sonar and camera. Yeah. And if we have to, then we can drag Atlanta back out of the way. So I'll go to the back to the south. Well, at some point, yeah. Okay. Following up on what Danny was saying, what about having a light that the manip could pick up and rotate around as needed? That would be super light. handy. Tooling light? Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Just mount one on Magnum? No, just grab it when you want it. Magnet it to the front porch when you're not using it? Yeah. I think they've done, done such. Yep. Some of the Sebastian footage is from the... Yeah. Uh, T4s with the uh, camera and light on the manip so they can poke the manip under there and look housing. up. It would be cool to grab a camera and a light and shove in there, eh? Mm-hmm. We'll just take a Nova and stick it on the end of uh, the ma Magnum. Hmm. <laughs> Coming up five. Yeah, I'm back at the top of uh, Dante. What's your depth now, Ernie? Depth now, 918. All right. Get one more zoom, and then what'd you say, a thousand you want to peel off? Yeah, I mean, I'm just guessing. I, I, I just don't know how light it is when we move, It's if it's going to really take a long time to come to us, you know? Yeah. And I, I kind of want to make sure that we're stable. Getting the ops, you know. Yeah. All right. Well, when you're ready, we can peel off and head back to the old tool basket. Got your old boring tool basket. Yeah. 
Maybe there's a new vent that cropped up right there <laughs> next to the tool <laughs> desk. You say when. Okay, I will say when. <laughs> Missing you, Deanna. That was the show. Now back to work. It's our science diversion for the day. It was beautiful. Yeah. Jake Bonnie on the stick over there. Master Jake. <laughs> we had uh, Rennie good. navigating and Ed over there in video, as you can hear. Again, yeah, thanks to uh, Drs. Moran and Mahaley for yeah. the expert information. Yeah, thanks, Steve. And Kim Juniper as well. Oh, oh fantastic! Kim, yeah. Well, yeah. we got the we got the we got whole the family A -team in the helping house. Us out. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's Cover the deck man. calling. <laughs> copy, copy. It's about the same on the beacon. Thank you. Well, we have the RAS PPS coming down a thousand meters. Yeah. Screaming down at the crazy. So I'll put velocity. Atalanta first. I'll just move it to roughly where the toolbox is. Yeah, you can put Atalanta over the toolbox. That'd Roger, be great. we'll do. Bridge now. I'm going to take a quick bio break while we're moving. Good. Step five zero meters, bearing two three two. Thank you. Just took out a wrap. Speed zero point three. Five zero meters, two three two, speed zero point three. <coughs> Thank you. All right. You said you took a wrap out. Yes. Okay. So if you fly under Atalanta, uh -huh. then you'll be facing southwest. And we want to go. Sorry, I'll try to keep it all in screen here. Come up a little bit. Yep. Perfect. What are you guys running a delta of about 30 with this? 50 yeah, 30, meter? 35. Yeah. Are you still climbing? Uh, no, but you can come up a little couple more meters because I want to be right under you. Okay. Go a bit more, a uh, bit more westerly. Watch your butt there. Yeah. Come down a little bit, huh? It's okay, I can come up. Stay like this for now. The back deck is looking much cleaner now, eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> slowly, slowly. So you're kind of going around here, we'll acquire the tool basket. Okay. What you can do is to bring the heading around. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah. We'll, we'll eventually stretch back out um, as it as it starts to come down, but we're still up in the... Yeah, sure. You might have to come down. I think it's uh, getting tugged now. So yeah. I think down to 35 or so. Come down. Yeah, sure. Yeah.
Okay, the way the way it's sitting, I think after this move we'll have to kick quite a bit south to get the RAS over where the toolbox is. Roger. Let's go have a quick peek for... Okay. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I don't know if you saw, but Allison was up on the tepid tub deck. I was trying to throw it in me and Mike's mouth. We had some gummies. With these things? Uh, some similar gummies. Mm -hmm. Whoa, whoa. Front row is sharing candy? Some crinkling of pages. Crinkling well, well always pages. has candy. You just gotta ask. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Thanks. <laughs> Woohoo. Organic. Gummy bears. He smelled the flowers. It's it's looking good and happy. Yay. <laughs> nah, no, science science party took it took it over last night after we left. What's happening here? Uh, oh. Delta is high. Come down for me, Danny. Yep, coming down. I was trying to bring our heading around on uh, Atlanta, but wasn't really wanting to. Because the uh, Delta's 40. Yeah, makes sense. Come down to 35 for me. Yep. There is a question about the relationship between the hydrothermal vent fields and pillow lava. Got the geologist in the room there? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> pillow lava is well, well, my hood Gary McMurtry from the University of Hawaii was watching, but I don't know if he's chiming in. Mm, I don't know. Fabio's got some info for us. Well, it's... Atlanta should come around to the left. It's a type of... Um, Coming around to the left. That's good on the delta for now. When the magma solidifies under center, certain pressure and flow, and two they seven form zero? this right. pillow lava structures that are really round and smooth. And we were saying the other day, we are telling and wondering if this is the same as the, what we see, I mean, similar process, perhaps. Maybe Steve can chime in. That the lava, the hoe hoe is a, is a type of lava that we see in Hawaii forming from the Kilauea as the, the lava flows meet the ocean and you have this blob, blob forming structures that resembles a lot like this. So I assume it could be similar process, but we'll have Steve to chime in here. Or Kate. Toolbox should be somewhere to your port or ahead somewhere. Yeah, so I should be able to see it from here. Yeah, I think so. Uh, there it is, right to the left. Which is it, right or to the left? <laughs> right to the left. Right to the left. Too many squigglies. Yeah, I can clear the squigglies if you want. Um, <laughs> I, I couldn't tell if they're a little bit useful or not at this point a nuisance. About 24 hours of yeah. low track force? No, you no, can't really reduce them in this program very easily. Yeah, that's all right. No, I, you could put a tool basket waypoint, though, and that would be cool. Cause yeah. You're going to okay. need it to land this thing. Yeah, so I have it over here, and I'll do it for you here, too. <laughs> um, or yeah, I might need it. I'm going to spin around here. It's my tether turn. So... The crab's happy in new home. What we want to do here... There's two of them. Three of them. They're our grand plan. Uh, you can spin your head to the south, Danny, and look straight down. Coming around to the south. So basically we want to hit the train wheel with the RAS. So this is looking due north here. Right. So the grand plan is to uh, watch out for that tool basket. 
we were trying to hit the train wheel with the tool basket, but if we land the RAS out here somewhere, say some... Just to, to the north of it? Just to the north of it. Roger. And in theory, that should put... Um, in theory... How do you get that thing off there? Yeah, I know. It's um, fine. Sorry. Let me move the whole mess up here a little bit. Let me, come, let me come back up. Oh, we're heavy. I might have to drop a weight through. What's he got here? Oh, he's got Z bias on. All right, I'm going to bump us 25 meters south. That'll get us a little more, uh, the the RAS a little more in the zone and yeah, still right have it. you right in it. the yeah. bridge nav. Um, yeah. Step 25 meters south. Thank you. So anyways, when we bring the RAS down, we're going to have to come way up to disconnect it. Because uh, right, it's got all that jewelry on it that hooks at the very top. And yep. then the plan is to move that whole mess south, come down, hook up the tool basket. So we'll have uh, Atlanta behind us, Herc, tool basket, RAS. Mm -hmm. And I can keep everything out, in the in wire front. and everything out in front of us. Yeah. So that should be happy headiness. So it'll be, I would imagine the difficulty, anyway we spin it, is going to be when we lift the tool basket to lift it as fast as we can so it doesn't knock into the RAS, right? Well, we'll, we'll want to, uh, there's a couple ways to go there. They're talking about flying the hook over, but the other way you can do is let the hook go and and uh, let it plumb up, yeah, and then just move the boat, which will take a while. And then once it's plumb above, uh, uh, like just if I was sitting right here over the tool basket and the hook and you was saw in front that it was of straight us, up and down, yeah, yeah, then we can grab the hook and put some slack in it and have them pay out a little wire, and yeah, yeah, make the make the hook up, which is it will take longer. It's either that or... But then you know the wires. Yeah, pump, yeah. Right? Or make sure the RAS is out of, out of the line of pulling up and just yeah. go up as fast as possible. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so that that um, stinger that's on the... Yeah, I don't... Fast as possible would be frightening because I mean, then it would catch yeah. it on the way up and just destroy yeah, everything. Yeah, kind of... Yeah. And and we we have to, we'd have to make sure that make sure it's controlled. I can actually grab that on the way up and, you know, pull it yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But um, well, we'll have to move the RAS too, right? So the idea is to get this out of there before we go play with the RAS. The other way you could do that is, you know, unhook it and run the wire up and, and 100 meters yeah, and take and the, the RAS, RAS and move it. And, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. They got the RAS in. Yeah. Might be. Yeah. Might be better. We'll see what happens. So yeah, we'll we don't have to make like that decision until I unhook it. So yeah, when yeah. we unhook it, I'll have that hook in my hand yeah. and uh, see what it all looks like. Yeah. And what do we got coming up? We're going to get the tool basket out of here, go deploy the RAS. Yeah. Something else, something else. Land the RAS, uh, hook up the tool basket, jerk it out of the rocks, and then uh, grab the RAS up and fly it up to the shelf up there. Looks like the crabs over there cutting our bungee cords. There's three crabs on there, actually. One on the side, one on the opposite corner. Yeah, this one's got a rope in his hand now. The good news is the RAS is going where we want it to go when we move the ship. Yeah. Pretty pretty reasonably in the right direction. Um, just for now, spin Atlanta back around and just so we can watch the tether there. So, yeah, we might want to, they're talking about just flying the hook down and hooking up, but uh, you know, so it might be better to land the RAS further away than let go of the hook and watch it bring it back would be the safer way to do it. There you go, Dan. That better? More controlled, yes. Thank you. 
And then, so whatever it's iteration that we I have, have to... once that, once that's once the toolbox is up, right? We still have to kind of hang out for a bit because we need the toolbox to get high enough that we're confident about it not really interacting with the like six eight for any mo ship movements we have down below, right? Yeah, there's a lot to deal with too. So a transfer of beacon, I would imagine, onto the toolbox, all that business. Uh, that's a good idea. We can put one. Out. We have beacons ahoy here. That was, I don't think, in the ground plan. It would be good to know where it is on the way up. If we yeah. can, if, um, uh, I'll try to think of which ones are in the box. The is okay with that. Let's do that. Zoom in now. there on the crab if you wanted. Uh, we are in the zone of deployment, kind of honing that in now as we descend with our beacon position. The depth is 2195 at the site of deployment. You want to zoom in on him, Ed? Yeah, coming in. Going to need a tilt. Oh, his claws in the way. Don't move. Peekaboo. <laughs> oh, you know what? Never mind, Dan. The the beacon is on the wire. So it when, is on the wire, so when yeah. we hook it on the toolbox, it'll have a beacon for the way up. What's that little palm tree thing sticking out of there? Something he's eating? Where is this? It's right behind his leg now. Little palm tree. That little tongue looking thing. This guy? Oh. Fish. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Interesting. Funny how he's like feelers at the front are snapping around. Yeah, I wonder what that serves. A little wider. Oh, here. there's actually a bug on him. Look at this bug. Yeah. There's other little critters on, on his carapace on the back there. Yeah, yep. Megan identified those earlier. Oh. Some of them. I forget what they were. She used some oh. fancy name. There's a cool one there, too. The okay. one on the top, right? You see that one? That kind of looks sure. like that little Skeleton thing near the Oops. mouth that we were just yeah. talking about. So yeah, I wonder like if it's the same thing, just a smaller version. Oh, yeah, maybe. It's a type, uh, I don't know if it's an arthropod or copepod or whatever. Whatever Megan says it is, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down, down five meters, Danny. Coming down five meters. Yes, yeah, so are we had to move south to get the RAS in position? Oh, that's all right. oh. Yeah. Down five and tilt up. Does it look like this organism oh, like lost limbs and regenerated them? Do you guys see in that? Like uh uh, here, uh, here, right there, that flat sections there. Any biologists here? Is Fabio mm. back there? Where's but Megan? She's got. They all ran away as soon as we left the yeah. base. <laughs> <laughs> but above the, it looks like three flat sections right above where those limbs attach. Whoa, buddy. Hold on. Dan, I think we're in honing in range. I'm kind of, I kind of want to not move yeah. the ship until we have visual and get it. What's the depth now? Depth of it is one five seven five. All right. And you can see it on our screen there. It's pretty close to the toolbox, kind of between the IP and the toolbox. So that's if we move now, it kind of like. And we'll have to hone it in anyway. So, Roger, do you have a good fix of this position then? Well, we'll we'll yes. keep it we'll yes keep I it. Do. So be aware that all that jewelry is hanging down. I don't know. I need one of the ONC people. Um, it's probably you know. So there's seven meters below the beacon of wire. 
to the hook. Yeah. And then there's the floats, and then there's a long blue line, and then the as itself, and then the weight. So. Yeah, I'll go grab you a, um, a sketch with all those dimensions, Dan. What, yeah. What's the overall dimension from the from the beacon to the bottom of the RAS, roughly. Yeah. Uh, I'll go grab that 40 for 40 meters, 50 meters. Yeah, I'll, then I'll we get could it. know our beacon depth. Once we have that beacon depth, then we know that we can tell them to stop yeah. if they haven't already. I reckon we should come up, you know, we'll have her 30 meters up or something like that. Yeah, watch it come down. What's that? And then watch it. Come. Well, we'll pick it up on the sonar, yeah. And yeah, yeah. We'll be able to yeah, see it. Yeah, bring the whole, ma bring us up and see We'll be able to yeah. see it in Atlantis camera. Yeah, Should be able to. Those. Are they using an acoustic release or are we are releasing it? We're gonna pink hook it. Oh, fun. Fun, fun. We're gonna. <clears throat> so the plan is there's a duct taped up rope. We're gonna fly up and uh, grab the rope with whatever manipulator we can get it with, but the we'll want the rope in the Magnum's hand. And um, then we'll get a little slack in it and unhook the pink hook. But I think they want to actually land the thing, so yeah, we'll see when it gets there. We do want to land the thing and get a little slack in the whole mess so we can unhook it, is the plan. Sounds like a plan. Sounds fun. It's a plan. So RAS PPS is currently a little bit, it's kind of to the west, directly to the west of Hercules, which, so it moved a little bit further south than we, had, than yeah. we want. Um, it's up to you if you want me to start to... No, you can chase it around if you want now. Try to get it north of Try the... Try and hit Hercules with it. Yeah, <laughs> do my <laughs> best. I'll, uh, I'll do that. So 15 meters, zero, six, zero. Bridge now. What's it? Sorry, what? Uh, 1500, we said it is, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, let's step one five meters, bearing zero six zero. Thank you. I'm um, sorry, I can check on that. That's kind of one one more screen than I have. 1600, 1700. Uh, I can put that up somewhere if you want. Yeah, we just need that one depth, really. What PC is that? Uh, Sonardyne. <laughs> Probably put it where the gauges uh -huh. are. Those are kind of... No, Ed'll have to put it in PC... I don't know, put it in PC2, Ed. If you, I can do that here if you want. Okay. Or sure. Ed can. Uh, I can do it. What am I putting in PC2? Sonardyne to PC2. Like yeah. Sonardyne. If you want, I'll put Sonardyne here. That's easy enough. Uh, yeah, you can do that. That's probably easier. Yeah. Done. We'll call okay, Dan. Wanna, so it's that bottom one is the beacon. You want to call it every... 17, uh, 16. Yeah, that's yeah. the one. If you want to call it every 100 meters now so I don't forget about it, that'd be great. Sorry, back row, did you say something? Yeah, I've got, the, I've got some links for you if you haven't figured it out yet. No, I'm clueless. Overall, the the moorings to the top of the floats is about 19 meters tall, and then 25 meters above that is the um, USBL beacon. Okay, so when you say the mooring, you mean the bottom of the weight? To yeah, the weight top to of the, the top yeah. of the float. So then so that's 19 and 25, so 44. Yeah. Yeah, so figure 50 meters, have a little on the bank, and then plus or minus 20 for the USBL wonkiness around Endeavor. So if we at least 100 meters off we want to stop it from yep and so that 2, would be 200 so let's we'll stop it at 2000 sounds give good. us 100 meters so that'll give us 190 meters oh yeah. you're right plus 100 got it got it got it got it yeah so that sound good that goes or yeah to 2100 at the most right yeah 2100 would give us 40 50 meters under yeah and we'll do that based on the beacon depth not their yeah. payout yeah, and I, um, Renny, I said you, you or Dan will be communicating with Rye on the radio. Okay. And you'll probably stop it somewhere around 2,000, but you'll let her, let yeah. her know before. Yeah. Okay. So, 44. So then that'll be 50 meters. 
20, the weight will be 50. 2100. So let's try and pick it up on Argus at 2100. That way we come up 60 meters on Argus. Roger. It's not huge. Yeah. Happy with that? Yeah. That so then it'll be 60 meters off the bottom. The weight will be 60 meters off the bottom. Yeah, that sounds good. And then Big we can old octopus. There's right your there. octopus again, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah uh, GPO. <laughs> ha. Megan, you're not the only one. Ha. <laughs> This one looks bigger. Oh, yeah. it's definitely a different one. Or it's this, a lot closer. That looks like a giant Pacific octopus, but I could be wrong. Could I add? No, that's not. I would have missed it again. No, it's too small. Deep sea octopus. Gran Scaling laser. Granella Dawn Pacifica. Isn't that a Dumbo? Yes, it no. is. Uh, Dumbo? I think so. No. Uh, no, the no. one he described. I don't think so. Oh, it's going to take off. Trip. You can uh, zoom in a common. bit there. Yeah, coming in, switching here. It's not a Dumbo. It's just giving a stretch. Woke him up. 1,800 meters. You can go a little tighter if you want. Tighter eye. I got a big Alvin stack behind it. I'll try and get that out of the picture. Granella give it room to open or up. Pacifica. Oh, that's so cool. Putting no, Megan Doctor post a shame. Razors <laughs> off before we hit it in the eye. Roger. Okay, so this beacon, I did move the ship up here, but it's still trending a bit south, so I'm hoping that we it at least is arrested and then we Not can going move it. As it but mm. just mm. informing Tracks. you that it's kind of crawling. It uh, might kite to soft uh, focus. focus. Well, that's a good picture on the still cam. And if it takes picture off, Dan, let's let it leave frame. Roger. I'm going to do a quick full zoom. And come out just a little bit. Oh, wow. that is incredible. Did I tilt up too much? I don't I'm know. pretty just sure these are my favorite. Just hold this this is my favorite sea creature right here. Yeah, what does it use the eye for? Can they see down there? Follow bioluminescence or something? Yeah. Well, it's, if, they, if they haven't lost the eye structure, it's because they, they see something. They see something, yeah. Yeah, there's still a lot of bioluminescence happening at those Granny depths. Granny Lodone? Yes. Um, more Pacifica. I love it when they posture. Come on, ROV. Put them up. Put them up. <laughs> Come back in again. Trying to give Jake something to work with. This strip has been quite um, heavy on the octopus. Really? This is only the second one I've seen. Really? They seem to favor, we especially that in shallower waters, the, under shallow? the bottom of the IPs. That must have been on the other shift. I yeah, feel like we've seen a bunch of octopus. In Barkley Canyon, yeah, they're very abundant on the wall. Yeah. Oh, these are abundant in Barkley? No. No, no, no. I okay. mean, octopuses. The yeah. Grand Pacific octopus that Ed just Yeah, heard. the giant. Yeah. The GPOs. GPOs. <laughs> Yeah, that especially a uh, upper. What's slope. the depth, Danny? We are at 1,900 meters. Right there. Um, tilt currently, up the package vehicle. is 17 meters horizontal from Hercules, bearing 252. Yeah, I think the raw picture is going to look really good. Kind of get a little camera feet. bump up, Dan, so I can go in. You can, uh, I think you can. There you go. Thanks. Maybe move. Uh, did you move northeast already? Or? I did. I can do it again. Yeah, we want to have it to the north. Yeah, right. I'll do a, another 15 to the northeast. It seems like that just stopped it, but it didn't make it move. Uh, you at 2,000 yet? No, 1920. Roger. Till at 2,000, we'll get them to all stop. We'll move the ship a little. Yeah, Raj. Start positioning the. Uh, I'll just call them at two. Um, yeah. So it's all stop, yeah. Okay, because um, I think they have a different payout than what we have. Uh, okay, do you want me to just try to go another little bump? Sure. Yeah, I'll go zero four. 
Five, I got bridge now. Just sit here for the rest of the night watching this. Like this Step guy. one five meters zero four five. Thank you. He's on the move. Want oh. me to let him crawl out of the frame? Yeah, yeah it's going to take a long time now. I'm so I called in zero four five. So hopefully easy. Atlanta goes this way and this goes that way too. <laughs> yeah. But if it doesn't move, Atlanta will still be going the correct Better direction reset. away from it. Yeah, so. that's all right. I'll, I'll get in a get in a line. Yeah, Roger. On the right line. Put a wide, wide for him. Go for control. Yes, please. Uh, you can hold there. What, what are we at in our beacon? 1963. So we're about 50 meters off. Yeah, that's fine. We can go. We can continue down till we reach two, or just hold here and keep going. Doesn't really matter to me. We got to get it in position anyway. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You're 1963 there, Danny. 1965, and it's gonna ping here again in about three seconds. Yeah, you can go another 50 meters. Why 1966. Not? Okay. So Dan, is this Deck about control? how fast you want me to move the arm? Yes. You can yeah. pay off <laughs> another <laughs> five zero meters. <laughs> oh, nice. Octopus Thank speed. You. Octopus yes. speed. Okay, they're yeah. paying out another Deep sea 50. octopus speed. You gotta be more specific. Right. Oh, yeah. And they get the fast ship is moving. Do a little quick little reset. How much more did you say they were paying out? Running? 50. 50. Five zero, thanks. Yeah, so that'll be about 1971. Oh, well, he's changing color. He's like, get a look at my good side. So Dan, yes, you, you mentioned moving the toolbox when it's on. Can we do the same with the RAS? Like if we're because yeah. it's later, we Can just kind of put it in the position as long as it's in star, the, what do you in think? the box. Yeah, we could. I'm just I don't know the answer to that, so I'm kind of curious if that's 1996. I I we would freak some people out if we wrote it on the crane. But we'll see how it how it's riding. You know how bad it's bouncing. Yeah. Or, the weather's beautiful. For yeah, yeah. I, I mean, even just not landing it, but kind of positioning it and then paying, you know, because it's like, yeah, yeah. I think it's just kind of oh. stuck. I'll do it a quick snap soon fast. here, Dan. What's that? Ed? Just go in real quick. Sure. Yeah. Thanks. Dan, we're at 2,011 meters. Roger. Yeah, they should be stopping right about now unless I can do it. There they are. Roger that. Yeah, hold there. 2016. Roger. I mean, how would you feel to see an alien for the first time? Because that's what he's probably thinking right now. <laughs> I don't think um, he's seeing anything. I think he's, he's pretty blinded. And, uh, blinded by us. <laughs> just uh, doing my part here as. Uh, all those husband lights, and so. a father. There's nothing that tells us that this is a he. So Back row, just so you know, we are day. we are currently positioning to try day? to get Raz day. in the right spot. Yeah, we're not just dawdling. <laughs> always need. They to don't care. Stuff. They're watching yeah, the they're, they're watching <laughs> No, we just have complete faith in you. Well, back some of that uh, off, I think. Really so. <laughs> Maybe not pretty, complete. <laughs> pretty cool that he uses all of his tentacles at the same time. It yeah. uses all of it. There you go. Thank you. I think that's right. They. They. Let's call that they. I noticed they have a lot of tentacles. We, no, we can't assume gender. Um, some of the ones we've seen you can. Yeah. If there's that's a one female of arms an on, uh, right now. Yeah. Yeah. on eggs, that's but, uh, okay, so it is indeed moving in the direction we want, so that's good. It kind of started to make a little dog leg there and come back to the where we want, but it's not there yet. Uh -huh. um, I don't know when it'll start to feel that move. 
Um, have you ever watched the I Octopus feel like teacher? I want to come up and find it, no? Yes. Roger. Yeah, that was That's very good. That's a great good. documentary. Yeah, it was very well done. It's going. It's close. Yeah, it's getting, it's approaching for sure. You think it's still swinging or you need another move? I think it's swinging. Um, I'll give it a few more minutes yeah. there. Yeah. Because I did call two oh, yeah, 15s fall. in a row, and so that should be... Push well past where we are so hopefully it just kind of starts to get we only just saw it, saw it start to turn we're getting ready to wave a goodbye to us yeah it's still moving Bye -bye. okay Danny you want to start uh, coming up for me Calling up. And uh, you can bring your head around to, uh, I don't know, 300-ish. Yep. And while we're ready to boogie Dan, let's uh, just turn our head Actually, to let this go out of frame to give Jake a nice out if he wants to use it. Roger. I could do the uh, rocket where I just keep backing up and going away. <laughs> DJI drone move. Totally. <laughs> Somebody got it. <laughs> it's a beautiful shot. I did one on the Kalnana a couple weeks ago. Uh, that's uh, Danny lifting me up there now. Yep. Sorry. Oh, that was perfect. Okay, that so was it's awesome. back to work. It's yep. still on the move, and I anticipate it'll. Because it's moving this quickly, it'll probably get there. Full, full wide. So Roger. we'll want to acquire and lower uh, before it goes too far and have to back yeah. up. How high do you want me to be? Uh, uh, I'm almost 60 meters. All right. Yeah, so come up to uh, come up another 40 meters. Yeah, the weight to the okay. beacon is 44. Plus another 40. I'll just come up and find it. Yep. Hopefully I'm not dragging you too hard. Uh, you can come up easy, then. Ten meters. Where are you going, Herc? Have to come up a little slower, Danny. I can't keep up there. Okay. That was awesome to not only have the time to go poking around at some really cool vents, but yeah, to have uh, Kim and Kate and Steve giving us all sorts of cool info about it. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Don't, don't get that every day. And yeah. Allison <coughs> shared some information about the pillow lava, but then we ended up talking about yeah. the res, so I didn't get to okay, so relay about it. 100 meters she off really the knows her lava morphology. Right yeah. Yeah. What do we think the... Uh, Allison. Bottom of the package just now? Uh, oh, yeah. We think that the bottom of the package, if our beacon yeah. is at 2014, we're 44 below that. So 25, 260. I think the. 2060? 20, yeah, sorry. 2060 is the. 2060 is the weight. Right. Okay, well, I'm at 2100 right now. So we can start to lower that down if you want, rather than go up, or unless you want to acquire it, then go, or we can have bring it down. Either way, can meet in the middle. Um, so I'm at 95 meters. Roger. So if they're at 
I'm going to lose, uh, how, when do I lose DBL? About 100. Or yeah, we can, would be safe. we can come up a bit more. Okay. We can't wait out to come up, but. So we want. Uh, you can lower him down. Okay. Uh, if you they go 50 it. down, that'll bring them at. Sorry, you said they're at. The bottom of it is. The bottom of it is 44 meters below the beacon. So that brings them to tw 2060. So if they lower. Okay, hold on there, Danny. I'll stop. Or no, keep, sorry, keep coming up. Keep coming up. I if need to fly out. If they lower 40, they'll be. The bottom of the package will be at 2100, which is 100 off the deck. Right. So should I have them pay out 40? Yeah, sure. Winch control. Pay out four zero meters. So that'll put the weight at twenty one hundred. Our depth here is twenty one ninety five. So be roughly a hundred off. Roger. And we should pick it up any time now. There it is. Got it. Okay. And look up, Denny. 20 meters away. Perfect. Yep. I'm looking that tracks with our USBL stuff, too. Uh, there it is. Let's get this thing out of the way. It's confusing me. I've got a visual. Visual. Okay. So do you want to follow that down with Atalanta? Or do you want them to hold? Uh, let me uh, slack off here a bit. Let's see what we can see here. Make sure it's all red and all right. That almost looks like the top of it. That's the float. Yeah, that's the float. The float. Yeah. So that's 19 meters above the anchor. Roger that. Roger. And it's at a 30 a degree angle. She's, she's still going down. OK, Danny, come down. Coming down. Yeah. I could stop her up too, just let me know. How fast is she going down? Let's come down, come down, so I can see it. Copy. Yep, okay, so she's holding, that's good depth off. Should be at least, you still got the wire there in the yeah. out of view, now you 20 got meters away. float package visual. Yep. Just an update. That pink hook is 19 meters from the bottom of the package. Roger. Yeah, that's correction. That's correction. The um, one second. The um, the clump is 19 meters. The pink hook is 13 meters from the bottom, and the USBL to the very bottom anchor is still 44. Still 44. Okay. So it's just Roger. the in intermath is a bit different, but yeah. I think I want to go get it with Herc, because we're 20 meters away from here. Happy with that? Yeah, you uh, mean to go up and acquire it and follow it down? No, I'm going to come under Atalanta, and Let uh, me know if I you should want me be able to see the bottom of it. Yep. Yeah, you can all stop, Danny. So if he stops, yeah, you'll be under. So yep. everybody's, everybody's all stopped right now. Yeah, you don't think you pulled Atalanta too far east, do you? No, I didn't okay. pull it at all. Then, I'll then watch, I think it, watch it for still a minute be good. here. Yep. <laughs> It's pretty much right above the toolbox, maybe a little bit east of it. But uh, come on, I'm go get on the weight here. Yeah, Raj. Let me know if there's a specific distance you want between any of the individual components. To yeah, like we're good here. I think we'll be okay once we acquire the weights, and we'll be we'll know our depths. There it is. Can you increase the range on that guy, Danny, to uh, uh, something 25, nope. something like that? This one's at 5 meter okay. divisions, by the way. There you got visual yeah. just off in the distance right there. Right there. Thank you. Oh, 
Okay, Danny, come up uh, 10 meters. Coming up 10 meters. Is this the weight? Yes. Roger. There's something under the weight. It's another weight. <laughs> Two weights. Uh, keep keep coming up, Danny. I am. Can you come up a little faster? All right, here we go. Okay, 25 meters. Yeah, so you hold that 30 meter delta there for me. Yep. And now uh, you can have her come down easy, ready? Roger that. Do you uh, want a certain depth or just... No, nah, just start coming down easy. Winch control. Let's pay out slow, uh, continuous, and we will call for the stop. Keep an eye on my heading here. My happy wow. heading is 315. 315, Roger. <laughs> Let me chase it around. One. That's an easy one to remember. Yeah, one of the dangers here is it swivels and the pilot doesn't yep. just naturally. You wrap around it. <laughs> yeah, you want to walk around it. You'd be yeah. surprised. Oh, that makes sense because you're trying to keep a perception of Ten it. people looking at a. Yeah. Does she have a rate of ascent there? Uh, does she have a speed like 10 meters a minute? Probably speed, yeah. Is this, well, let me know if this is good for you and I'll tell her to speed That's up or slow down. a bit fast. Winch control. Uh, it's a little bit slower. She does get a speed, so if you want to request a specific speed, she yeah, can do that. 10 meters a minute would be. 10 meters a minute payout. Thank you, Dirk. What is it, are you in? Meters per minute. Yeah, great. 70 meters to go. Not sure. Uh, currently is tracking at just east of the toolbox. Just maybe right. five meters east of All the right toolbox. Right. That's a pretty safe spot. You can tighten up the delta a little bit, Danny. Let's get uh, 35, maybe. Okay. Tighten up, 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 up. <laughs> in other words, tether in. <laughs> well, I was trying to stop, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, you can pick it up a little. Okay. And uh, look. Yeah, 35 right now. Right, there. okay, look down for me, Atalanta. Look at her, you should be able to see a package or something down there, tether. Yeah, that's good. Beautiful. Yeah, 35 to 40, I reckon. 40 will bounce me in. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was uh, trying to match speed. Yeah. Fifty meters off the deck. Copy. Seems to be holding X Y position Holy pretty still. well. Okay. Um. Hmm. Ronnie, do you get Wi-Fi on the back deck? Uh, sometimes. I could potentially let her see this video. Uh, it's distracting for her. She needs to watch her payout. <laughs> no, I meant once we get down to try and do touchdown. Roger. Uh, yeah, there's an old, well. old argument whether winch or crane operators need ROV video. And if they have it, they're watching. They anticipate moves. and It's nice to have for an experienced operator, but I, I would... I don't, you know... 
Hercules, 40 meters off the... Roger, 40 meters. <clears throat> that was a good depth. We didn't ever lost DV up. Yeah, what would you get up to, 80 or 100? Uh, yeah, something like that. I think oh, yeah. that's about where we lose it. Adelina went to 110. Yeah. I think we are losing one of the uh, down lights because I'm not making any iris adjustments at all. And it's flickering all over the place. Yeah, possible. See that? Yeah. I think it's the left down light, the bottom one. Hercules 30 meters off that. Here I do. Hopefully we'll be able to see the tool basket here and there. Yeah, how is that beacon dip lining up? 2104, 2105. Does that make sense? Mm. 25 plus 44, 70, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> um, it's close. we'll stop her about uh, 10 meters here. Copy, and copy. we got visual of the seabed, uh, we'll acquire the visual on the tool basket. Roger. I got a visual on the tool basket in Herxus. Roger. There's tool basket. Yeah. You keep uh, coming another. Roger. Get a good view of both of them. So you can. <coughs> oh, yeah. Triangulate like some the location. It's pretty yeah. good, eh? Landing. Yeah, it looks to wow. me, position wise, about just a little bit east of it, which. It's hard to say right. from here, but. We actually want it on the other side of the tool basket, so we'll stop her here. Uh, Are you ready? Yeah, let's come down a few more meters. Okay. Is it we don't want it on the east side, or? I want it on the other side between me and Atalanta. Yeah. I don't want to fly over it to hook up the tool basket. Yeah, right. Okay, you can stop her there. Winch, I'll stop, I'll stop. thing up what a couple meters away tool basket is uh, what is that t -t 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 10 meters away and that thing is uh, five meters away yeah uh -huh. so I think I kind of would need to put it like kind of three one five direct you know yeah yeah three one five ten meters tool baskets ten meters away from me yeah so three one five Ten, uh, so 10 meters, I'll put it 5 meters on the other side of the tool basket. So I'll do a 5, 5, 3, 1, 5? Uh, no, 10, at least 10, yeah. We want it well on the on other the side. Other. Okay, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Don't, you're not worried about north, north, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, no. Bridge, nav. All in this ducky line, which seems to be 3, 1, 5. Step, 10 meters, 3, 1, 5. Thanks. 5, probably, you know, the DP footprint thing. Yeah, yeah. Although in this weather, it should be pretty tight. I'm going to slide to our right a little, line it up.
And now we wait. Now we wait. Can I have her come up a couple meters there, maybe? Up. Haul in. Yeah, haul in a couple meters. <laughs> Winch control. Haul in three meters. Uh, while we're waiting, we're gonna, you want to chase me up, Danny? Let's yep. come up and have a look at the package, make sure everything's happy, happy. Gonna stay here for a while. Come up a little faster there. Just a little faster, Danny. Maintain at least 35 there. So. Just as we're waiting um, for the people in Science Party Land, this is a remote access sampler and a phytoplankton sampler. So we're going to be taking a look at um, the hydrothermal bent fluids. I believe this is, will be deployed for a year. I think is the plan. There we go. What's happening there? Two years. Yeah. There's our hook. There's that spin. Mm -hmm. Interesting, eh? Um, Not quite heavy enough. They still have the crane all the way stuck out. Yep. Yeah. They could, uh, if you wanted to reduce that a bit, you could pull the crane in closer to the edge of the boat. They'd have to come up, you know, 10 meters or so on the wire. It's just a long moment, you know, we talked about that. Okay, Roger. Thank you, Lounge. Um, yeah, let me know if you if, if you think that that's worth it, Dan. They do have a crane operator on, Boom. on standby. Yeah, let's uh, come up 10 meters. The boat's moving, so it's going to take a while. Let's come up 10 meters and uh, suck that crane in a little bit. Do you copy that, Lounge? So you can come up uh, 10 meters, uh, 10 meters a minute on the winch. Roger. Winch control. Haul in 10 meters, 10 meters per minute. Good thing that's a um, <coughs> pink hook. It would have moused over by now. I know, you know, <laughs> I, I was looking at that, the, ma the ability for it to a mouse because that one's the one where the gate can't go out right in theory but if the hook hits it can yeah yeah that could open it hasn't yet you know it's been doing that for hours so yeah 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 more weight i think but you know, then you got a quarter inch line on the on the package and 